fan. It's been a lot of work trying to get ready for football season, but I'm excited. Like Some of these teams can be pretty good. Atlanta looks like they might be good this season. I don't know, man. The coach and the kids don't seem to be getting along very well. Watch this. We're all really excited to hit Mr. Skillman here. It's amazing. It's the best feeling in the world to get to hit, not get in trouble. If we have a partnership, it's a one-sided partnership right now. Uh, he gets his butt kicked. He can't run or anything. I coached there for a couple of years, and uh, it's, it's just shocking to me. You see, man, what I tell you? Well, I don't know. Are you sure that's right? The editing is kind of weird. Okay. okay. Well, what about Mayo? They should be pretty good this season, right? I think they've got problems of their own. We don't have any running backs. 16 signed up, but nobody showed up. I got four linemen. Well, I don't know how that's going to play out. So what do you do with the other five kids? We don't know yet. Yeah, at home, thinking about it 24 hours. Uh, some of the just you dream up as you go, <laughs> go along. And yeah, I am the line coach. Well, that's just ridiculous. I don't think their problems are that bad. Well, how about Hillman? They always have a good team. We've never had real great players here. It's fun, you know, the, the kids know that people are looking for them. And guys are going to look over your shoulder all year long. You can't, you can't afford to slip up. That's how we're selling it to the kids. I was wrong. These teams are hopeless. Hey, uh, you guys see I tweaked those football interviews you were working on. You're not using those, are you? The Fifth Down presents the 2011 Pigskin Preview with Jeff Schaefer and Paul Gerke. Hello and welcome to the 5th Down Pigskin Preview. I'm Paul Gerke. And I'm Jeff Schaefer. For the next half hour, we'll take you on a journey throughout northeastern Michigan to get ready for the upcoming high school football season. But before we worry about this year, let's take a look back at 2010. The Huron Shores Conference only has four teams, but it's a competitive league. Whittemore Prescott took the 2010 crown, beating all three of their division opponents. They took down Traverse City St. Francis in pre-districts, but got shut out by McBain in the district final. Alpena continued to struggle in the Big North, ending the year with only two wins, but the conference sent three teams to the postseason, Traverse City West, Petoskey, and Cadillac, the Vikings making it to the regional finals. Juleberg and Onaway finished in the middle of the pack of the Ski Valley, which was dominated by Mancelona. The Ironmen went 7-0 in conference play, but lost to Ishpeming in the district final. Hillman won the North Star League with a perfect 5-0 record. Mayo also made the playoffs, and they faced each other in the first round. The Bolts beat the Tigers and then destroyed Cedarville 57-18 in districts. Unfortunately, the Thunderbolts run came to an end in regionals. They lost to Mount Pleasant Sacred Heart by 42. And a 2010 recap wouldn't be complete without mentioning Posen. Their eight-man game was unsanctioned last year, but the Vikings still went 6-2 and two and could be in the playoffs this year. More on that a little later. Now that you're up to speed, we can get started on this season. Teams officially started practicing three weeks ago today. But Posen and Alcona got a bit of a head start. We like to start at 12.01 a.m. Uh, it's something that I think is a cool idea. We do it because we want to set a tone that we're not going to waste a minute of our time. High school football is all about being underneath the lights on a Friday night, so that's what we want to get them used to. Here you go, Andy. Right there, right there. Go. That's it, Andy. We want to get a head start. We want to have a leg up on our opponent. The kids really like it. You know, it's, it's kind of fun. It's always nice to be out under the lights. This is one of the finest facilities in northern Michigan. The field is just fantastic. And it's nice to come out under the lights for the first practice. I mean, it brings a lot of excitement to me and just to all the other guys on the team. It takes a lot of guts to be out here at midnight, you know, get to see what we got this year. It's easier to work out at night. It's uh, pretty nice out here. It's not hot like it is usually during the day. Just to come out on the field, get that feeling back from last season, brings back memories from all the guys. Our coverage kicks off in Posen, where as you just saw, the Vikings started the season under the lights. Only about a dozen students have been showing up, but that's a manageable number since the Vikes play eight-man football as opposed to the normal 11-man game. Coach Wayne Karsten has got his boys lifting for an hour before their normal practice routine, hoping to bulk up for a playoff run this season. Yes, you heard that right, a playoff run. This is the first year that the MHSAA is officially sanctioning eight-man, a style Posen has embraced for the last couple of years. That means Karsten's small squad has something to play for, and you can bet they're excited to get the regular season started. Started. It puts a carrot at the end for the kids because now there's playoffs. Um, we got a 10-team league up here. Uh, we play everybody one time in our league. That's our nine-game schedule. So uh, these kids want to win. 
Um, it's not, I mean, yeah, make the playoffs. So many teams make the playoffs, but these guys want to win. They want to go be more than just make the playoffs. Um, we want to win the league. The path to the postseason won't be an easy one. The Vikings will have to find a way to replace some key contributors, right, including right, Shane and Corey right, Henkuski. Right. Thankfully, there are seniors waiting for a chance to lead. They're hoping to improve on last year's 6-2 and two record and capture the Bridge Alliance title. Oh, we got guys come back, and everybody knows that they want to build on that, and that's what our coaches do. We keep building every year. First week, it just brings all the adrenaline back. You forget how good it feels. You can't live with any regrets. You come out here, never know when it's going to be my last game or my last play, and just come out, play every play like it's my last, go 100% on every play. It'll be interesting to see if Coach Karsten can keep his boys from getting complacent since almost every team in the eight-man bridge alliance is going to make the playoffs this year. Yeah, and of course they've got that small squad, which is why they went to the eight-man game to begin with. But this is a team that's got some talent. They went 6-2 and two last season, and the big test is going to be if they can replace those seniors. When you lose a guy like Shane Henkuski, who did so much for this program, it's always a tough test. That's right. Now, no matter how Polson finishes up, they're just the start of our football coverage. When we come back, we'll take you to the Huron Shores Conference. Will Whittemore Prescott be able to defend their title? The fifth down. Pigskin preview will return in a moment.